Welcome back. You know, Julie, I love Kingston. I love food. I love tours, mm -hmm. which is why I am triply happy Kingston Food Tours is here. Uh, Daniel Barrett here to talk about a new component to Kingston Food Tours. We are. The Kingston Food Tours itself been around for a while. Uh, yeah, we just completed our first year. Uh, it was a great success, thanks in large part to our restaurant partners, tourism partners like Downtown Kingston, Visit Kingston, and media partners. We had so much support from local entities, and that's why it was a success. So thank you for your part in that. Well, oh. it's such a fantastic concept because we know our city is quite a walkable city. The downtown has so much to offer, and this really blends uh, it, the opportunity to check out our fabulous restaurant and cuisine and also learn a little bit about our city and culture. A lot of mm. trivia. Yeah, there is a lot of trivia on the tour. We try to blend in stuff about Kingston's history, which is incredible, and the architecture, but the focus is always on the food. And you're right, we are incredibly lucky. Visitors to the city, when they come, when they finish this tour, they're amazed that they can turn a corner and go from having the best margarita they've had <laughs> to like this unique Turkish delicacy just around the corner. You know, like yeah. it's such a unique mix of flavors and really interesting people who contribute so much to the downtown. And not just tourists too, but we're talking about locals who can take advantage of this <laughs> to <laughs> know what is going on. In That's their right. Very it's not just backyard. for tourists. It's amazing. Well, because we have so many options for places, you know, you find a favorite place and you tend to stick to it. So mm -hmm. it's so fun for me to have locals come down often from the west end of the city and sort of reintroduce themselves to their own city. And they come away amazed. They're like, there's so much going on downtown at these restaurants and at these microbreweries that they weren't necessarily aware of just because there are so many options. It's so true. It's so true, because sometimes you do get set in your way. You find that favorite That's restaurant, it. you go you have back, your favorite you item on the great, menu too. But yeah. then you learn, oh, the menu may have changed, yeah. or they've changed up the decor. So it's nice to freshen things up. That's one of the really cool things about the restaurants in town. We, we use a word floss, which stands for fresh, local, organic, seasonal, sustainable. And that seasonal component means that these restaurants introduce new menus all the time. One of our partners on our beer tour, Le Chenoir, they just introduced their new menu yesterday. And so we're desperate for people to go try it, just so we can hear about it, and right? Because it's new to us. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Uh, let's talk about beer and bites, a new so component to the Kingston Food Tour. We are very excited about this. <laughs> I too. love beer. Both, yeah, I know you do yeah. also. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit personally motivated to do this, but uh, it's an incredible community of microbreweries. I mean, after doing our first tour, our classic Kingston tour, I came away amazed that these restaurateurs and these shop owners, they all work together. They integrate together really well um, to lift up the community. And one of the things that we sample on our classic Kingston tour is McKinnon Brothers beer. And people, both visitors and locals, were really responsive to the story of the McKinnon Brothers. And so as I started researching the, the beer community in Kingston, I was amazed. I mean, the history of the Kingston Brewing Company, going back 31 years, mm -hmm. they were Ontario's first microbrewery, believe it or not. Really? They were, yeah. Yeah, I they were the first they licensed microbrewery. Incredible. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an amazing place. It is a mecca for beer lovers in Ontario. I mean, everything on the walls has just kind of compiled organically, but everything has its own little story that's connected to Kingston, connected to craft brewing. Brewing. And the fact that they've been there throughout the highs and lows of right. the beer demand for craft beer is just a testament to how well they do what they do. Daniel, you just hand stuff over to Julie and I. Okay, okay. You, you take do you, a why don't we start with beers then? Because okay. it's best to, when you're sampling beers, start with a beer. You don't want to change your palate with the food. And it's best to go from lightest to darkest oh. when you're okay. sampling beers. So the first one we have for you is actually from the Kingston Brewing Company. And so this is a Dragon's Breath Pale Ale. So which one of you guys want to do the honors? Well, you can do, you can sample this because I want to uh, remind people that McKinnon Brothers you know, there's so many microbrewers, not just downtown, but throughout the area, that mm -hmm. to do a tour, you have to involve the McKinnon Brothers. So that's to. why some of these pubs feature their beer, so you don't have to go to the McKinnon Brothers Absolutely. farm. Yep. You can sample it downtown. We sample two McKinnon Brother beers downtown. Uh, nice, yeah, it's a good one. This isn't it? is a good one. It's good. It's Beautiful really nice. color, really refreshing, not too hoppy or bitter, really like clean finish. Um, right on a summer. Here you, did you go. You save me some. Uh, <laughs> okay, pass, pass her the Stone City. I awesome. Guess. Okay. So this is one of my personal favorites continues. from Stone City. So Stone City. it's a little cloudier, really, really nice beer. So this is their 12 star session okay. ale, and part of being a session ale means you can drink a lot of it. Basically, it's <laughs> sessionable. So Justin, the head brewer, he uses this word crushable. It's They're going to be taxis yeah, on standby at the end of the tour. <laughs> So we all drink responsibly. Absolutely, absolutely. That's important for us. A uh, couple bites we have for you guys. So from Stone City, we have their uh, cashews. So they're roasted in sriracha, honey, sesame mm. seeds. Really, really nice. Uh, from Kingston Brewing Company, they do an amazing job smoking meats. They have this new smoker that a lot of locals oh, don't know about. I didn't it's know that new. either. And so these are maple bacon sausages. They're so good. They're great, yeah. This tastes like grapefruit. Yeah, yeah, the citrus, really citrus. citrusy, sure, absolutely. Bit, okay. So the other item we have here to eat for a little bite for you guys is from Red House. This is one of my favorites out. So this is their buttermilk mm. chicken bites with their house made mustard. So all their sauces are made in house. And that's the other thing. Our tour is about beer mostly, but the bites that accompany it uh, speak to their, these breweries 
commitment to quality. You know, mm -hmm. they do really, really good food because they're constantly committed to just putting forth the best product they can because they're really proud of what they do. Thank you. Well, Dan, and we're running out of time, no unfortunately. No worries. It's all Finish good. Finish that last beer. Yes, get this and, last one. And let us I'm know, sure you've had anyone it. interested in signing up for the tour, how can they do Absolutely. so? Absolutely. So you can go to kingstonfoodtours.ca. It's our website. From there, you can buy tickets both for our classic Kingston tour and for our beer invites tour. And uh, our classic Kingston tour runs Wednesday through Sunday throughout the summer. And then our beer tour is just introduced right now. We're just launching it. And so it runs Wednesday and Sunday from 3 to 5. Or 5.30, depending on how much fun we're having. Daniel Barrett right. just became my new favorite person. Uh, yeah. I'm happy you're enjoying yourself. Thanks so much. Thank you for having us.